Hello, and welcome to your 89th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and this morning I want to show you how to create a trace template. This is going to be a real quick tutorial. Um, if you've been following along, I instructed you to leave the SQL Server profiler up because you'd be using it again. And if you didn't, no big deal. Just go ahead and watch my last tutorial, number 88, and go through the steps, and you'll be good to go. So, uh, okay, so what we're going to want to do is ensure that the trace is stopped. And as you can see, it is. That's why I pause and stop or grade out right there. Now, we're going to go up here to File, and we're going to Save As. And then we're going here to Save as Trace Template. I'm going to click on that. And then we're just going to give it a name. Let's name this AW Long Running Stored Procedure. Okay, AW Long Running Stored Procedures. We are good to go. We're going to click OK. We're going to click OK again. Now let's go back up to File, New Trace. And it's going to tell us to connect to our server. Go ahead and do that. All right. Okay, now in the Trace Properties dialog box, we're going to expand this. And if we scroll, there we go. We see that we have created the new template. So now, instead of configuring the Trace each time you want to capture long-running stored procedures, you can leverage the template and quickly start the Trace. So this does it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Come back and see me for the 90th tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you about running server-side traces. See you there.